Word is king. So I finally got my hands on the Orbit 2 by a company called Artifon. If you don't know what it is, it's a handheld synth, looper, and MIDI controller all in one. Now you guys know, I'm not a big hardware guy, but over the last few weeks, I've been getting used to it. And so in today's video, I want to show you some things that I learned. Now the Orbit 2 already comes with its own sound packs in four major categories. Drums, bass, chords, and leads. And you can easily navigate through these instruments just by pressing the middle A button. Stock sounds are always hit and miss for me, but some of these are actually decent. First off, let's set the BPM. To do that, you gotta hold down the A button while tapping on the BPM pad. Now to record, you gotta hold down the A button and then press the record pad. Okay, let's navigate to the chord section and add some synth pads. My favorite preset so far is this one called the Mini Max. Also in that same section, you're given the option to change the key. So let's do that. You can also double check what your exact BPM is. We're not gonna change that. Instead, let's lay down some chords. A really cool feature that Orbit 2 has is this built-in motion detection. Depending on how you move the Orbit 2, it changes the character of the sound. If you make a mistake, just hold down the A button and the record button for one light rotation and the sound is gone. Now let's add a lead instrument from Orbis Library. Orbit 2 app also allows you to do a little bit of sound mixing. Right here I'm turning down the lead sound as well as increasing the reverb and also increasing the delay. Let's add some bass. Pretty good. Let's cook up another beat.
Okay, my final thoughts on the Orbit 2. I think it's a really cool instrument to use on the go, as well as a great teaching tool for aspiring music producers. I do see some room for improvement with the sounds and the app itself, but it's dope to hear that Artifon is always listening to the producer community feedback. Thank you for letting me test drive the Orbit 2. Thank you.